Então, ó. Oh. Oh. Um, hi, um, I'm Eric. I'm, I'm Connor. <laughs> and I'm Eric. <laughs> I would have followed up with I'm, I would have followed up with I'm Connor. Yeah, we could didn't catch it in time. <laughs> but yeah, this is the ENC recipe generator. So for years, um, possibly even decades, humans have been eating food. Um, and usually when they eat, they want to eat good food. And there's a whole industry um, of food scientists and professional chefs trying to figure out what kind of food is good and how to prepare, uh, how to prepare that food. But we were wondering if we could replace all of that with a single uh, model. So that's sort of the basis for our project. So for our project, we, um, we took a data set of over 2 million recipes scraped up from across the internet and we ran it through um, our machine. And the purpose of this was to um, create a model which could take in an um, input of a few ingredients and expand that to a whole recipe. And by a whole recipe, I mean it had to have a complete list of ingredients. So um, not only what we input, but also anything else that was necessary and with appropriate measurements. It had to have instructions, which um, was a followable set of, uh, set of instructions. So you could actually do them if you had the correct equipment. And it had to have a relevant title. And the ultimate goal of all of the recipes was to generate something that could be uh, categorized as, uh, as food. And ideally, it would be delicious. And um, a little, Connor will go into a little bit more about how the model actually does that. Yep, so to give an overview um, of the model, um, we start with a raw input, which is a comma separated list of ingredients. Um, we then add some special tokens to that input, as you can see with the um, example here with input start as well as the um, ing tag to separate ingredients. Um, this input is then encoded um, using the Hugging Face GPT-2 uh, tokenizer, um, which is then given to our model, which um, uses a GPT-2 component for encoder and decoder. Um, the output of that model is um, the output of that model also includes some special tags, um, such as uh, tokens for title and instruction start and separators for instructions, for example. Um, the output is then decoded with the Hugging Face tokenizer, the GPT-2 tokenizer, and then the output is finally um, formatted, and, and that's outside of the model structure. That's um, part of the demo. Yeah, so our task was taking that small list of ingredients and um, comparing it against the associated full recipe. Um, we ran it for about 80,000 iterations over a couple hours. Um, we got a final blue score of about 65. It's a little high. Some would call it suspiciously high. Um, but uh, we think our um, number might have been slightly inflated by the number of special tokens we had. Uh, but as you can see on the right, the um, the output of our model compared to another model doing the same thing. I think it's uh, we are about on par or possibly even exceeding in terms of coherence and relevance. You know, given an input of flour, butter, egg, and tomato, you know, there's a recipe there. I don't know if you can, everyone can read it, but um, and again, because I said the ultimate goal was actually cooking food, I actually uh, I was so confident in our model's output that I actually uh, I made the recipe shown in the slides, and I would uh, <laughs> I'd like to invite the, the moderator to give it a taste <laughs> if you uh, because I'm just I feel like we did a really good job. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, more for me then. More for me. <laughs> So uh, Eric eats this creation. Um, here's, our, <laughs> here's our demo. Um, I'll just show you some ingredients. This is some sausage and monterey jack. <laughs> God, that's going to be disgusting. Um, so let's, let's throw some chicken, um, some potatoes, some cheese in here. and. Um, yeah, let's see what we get. It takes about 10 to 20 seconds. Yeah. I just want to emphasize, again, that was delicious. 
It's <laughs> nice. So we have um, broiled chicken. We put chicken in a baking dish, cover it with potatoes and cheese, and then bake it at 350 for 30 to 40 minutes until or until done. Oh, not too bad. It's truly vile. <laughs> <laughs>